Hello everybody and welcome back to your turn to die. Now then, let's begin, shall we? Whoa! Why did that music distort there, dude? I have to go because I was hungry, so... Aw, oh, how boring. I thought you'd finally wake up, Miss Sarah. But alas, you're still the dependable leader. Dory, he, he saw that? Boy, the chaos one little piece of paper can cause. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, I had everyone sign this form to them participate in the death game, see? So of course I wouldn't accept put an end to it. No, for the record, it'd be fine. I'd be fine granting a wish that gave you an advantage. Midori, why am I here? I never signed that consent form, and yet... The fact that you're here... Must be, cu must be because someone was so, surely. Well, never mind that. I really think it's a shame, Miss, Miss Sarah. I so wanted you to wake up. See the awakening of the ultimate Sarah Chidoan. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> so you don't even know. My miscalculation was having Joe take part. What? I was opposed from the beginning, you know, to this silly balance of business. I can't see where you're going with this. Miss Sarah. What do you think those victory percentages you've been carrying around are for? Yes, those. Did you think we were placing bets? Jean's a dark horse. A oh, hundred thousand yen. Like that. So then... Are you data upsets or what? Uh -huh. A funny joke. This death game must be a holy event. Everyone must be given a fair chance. A way to survive. In other words, the victory rates had to be made equal. Equal? Exactly! In short, you were assigned, you were assigned handicaps. So the weak were given helpers. Don't pay for this. Don't pay for this. You made us kill each other for your selfish project. And based on nonsense winning percentages, you brought in completely unrelated people? Why? Why? Even without doing that, didn't I have the price percentage? Why? It's probably only after you had Joe. <laughs> That's why it's curious. You see, Miss Sarah, when you have an ally, you're weak. What? <laughs> I remember it. In the world without Joe, you are a truly terrifying sight to behold. A stronger survival instinct than anyone else. A heart that would never give in. Such resourcefulness, strategy, and cunning. You use any means to survive. The most terrifying part is how you use the deaths of others. After killing them, you'd shed tears and tug at everyone's heartstrings. Such tremendous charisma. Even though you had zero intent of self-sacrifice, as the AI test continued, even I got shivers down my spine. <laughs> if I could have met you like that... <laughs> but hey, have to obey the will of the organization. I'm an adult after all. Well, Miss Sarah? Did Joe do a good job dragging you down? It can't be. Are you saying Joe was killed for a reason like that? I'll kill you. Whoa. Hey, you think you can win? You're not getting away with this. This isn't the kind of a method I want. In the back, Joe, everyone. But everyone, you mean. Now, and Kai, people whose names aren't on the list. They had no connection to anything, right? And you use them like toys. The most worthless reasons. We're all just living regular lives. Giving our all to live normally. <sighs> oh, 
Oh dear. You really have gotten too tired. But then, it's not you, is it, Sarah? Far more, more deceptive and despicable and demonic and witchy and supreme. Go back to the way you were then, Sarah. Stop it. Huh? You still here? Say, didn't you really invent the game just now? Why, that's strange. If you did that, you'd die, huh? Shut up. You're human garbage. I'll kill you, bastard. Huh. Are you going to drag down Miss Sarah, too? What? Not again. My calling. It's the tag finale. Gotta touch someone, or you're gonna die. We'll have you disappear, too, Renmar. For Miss Sarah's sake. And give me a good show. Won't you, Miss Sarah? Wait! Damn it! Midori! Let's go after him, Sarah! So, he was brought along with me. The worst. It happened for the worst reason. One more. Shoot, I have to go after him! Yeah, but where the fuck would he have gone? If there's any place I can imagine Midori being, it would be the secret room in the library. Knock Just went in that room with this dour look on his face. I was okay. What did you do? Tomorrow. <gasps> So you're here. Uh, uh. Huh. Your collar's glowing. This tag shit again, huh? Tomorrow. Can't give up. There's no here. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Do it. What are you saying? You wanna live, right? I. Our futures. I can't see one for me, but I can see one for you. They need a moment. Ugh. What am I doing? I know this is wrong. I just lost the courage to stand against our enemy. And what are you gonna do? If you beat Midori, you'll just die. I don't know. What should I? I can't stand to watch this. What the? What the? F huh? Come on, we'll do something about that caller. Where the hell did this rip in space-time continuum come from? The darkness. Sure, we light to me. What the fuck? This looks like it'll be very important. What is this? A caller reset device. What? It's awfully convenient. A reset? For the bomb? And how the hell do you know that, Hinako? Oh, I don't know. I just suddenly remembered. That must be the big information earlier. Like, she said that she had. But she can't tell us. You don't have to believe me. Do you have any other way? <laughs> no objections? Alright. Sorry, Senpai. Call everyone here. It's a pretty intense device. Apparently, only cooperation. So this so this is a machine for resetting resetting cars? Ain't that huge news? Saving this colors that restrain us. So you can if you can activate them, you won't have to be afraid anymore, meow. It's not that all powerful, people. You can only do it for the dummies. 
and also just disable the tag mode. Right oh, meow. Do that. Everyone will put themselves at risk. At risk? This device forces a reset by sending electrical current. Using our bodies as conduits, that is. The hell? Relax. It won't be enough to kill you. But if somebody passes out midway, we fell. Our model's gonna die. And then, we just gotta do it. What? Right, we can, right, we can handle that much. Tomorrow's our ally. We'll definitely save him, everybody. Nice. Yikes. It's gonna... Hurry, stand in the center. That's the most suspicious... Suspicious looking shit ever. Nice. I'm counting on you. Let's do it. Wait, what about Gin? Is he gonna be okay? What if he passes out? He's like... What? He's a 6th grader, right? So he's like 12. Oh shit. Ugh. Grab the electrodes, everyone. I'm turning it on. Okay, so here's how it works. Oh, I'll explain. Meow? Seaweed head! Whoa there! You'll fail if you let go. Just stay right where you are. Listen up! The objective of this game is to gather electricity on Ron Mar. The electrodes you're holding will be sent will be sent electrical shocks at random. So do your best sending that current toward Ramaru. Now take a look at the model that I'm seeing. That's the number of people who will be sent a shock next. What happens when the shocks come in? Yeah! That's stronger than I expected. <laughs> Isn't it? That's the first shock. You get more electrified each time you're zapped. Now let's try it once more. Please stop. That was the second shock. And if you get more and more electrified... Ah! Three shocks. This is the limit. Fourth shock, you'll pass out. You mean just one person thinks you fail this game? And you know what that means. But there is just one way of setting your charge back to zero. What the fuck? Ta-da! Wires connecting colors to one another. Hey, sorry. Press that switch next to me. Ow! The electricity! <laughs> Electric electricity flows to the person who presses the switch! In exchange, well, just take a look! The other people on your circuit got reset, here's that, see? Absorb charge onto yourself to protect others. That's what the game is! What about me? Didn't I say that already? Unlike everyone else, Ron Marla has to gather electricity. And then he it. Enough to make him think. Seriously? So basically, give charge to Amaru and keep it off the others. And that's it. Well then, it's about to get. It's about time to get started. Wait, should we start like this? Okay, actually. Yeah. All right, let's start now. <laughs> nice and obedient. Well, good luck. You're gonna need it. The wiring changed. No! Gene's gonna take the shock! Hit me with anything you got! The <laughs> given number of people receive shocks, tomorrow's father is making a warning sound. Holy! I got shocked anyway.
I'll collect some charge. Ow! Okay. Well, Jin still gets a shot, are you kidding me? Yeah, okay. 
Better break this time. Ah, Alright, I've collected enough. We did it! It stopped! That means we were able to reset it, right? Aww, so boring. Alright. I'll accept the loss at this time. I'll have to prepare more fun trap next time. Guys, I'm real sorry. I. Hold up. That ain't what you say here, is it? Uh. Um. Thanks. You saved me. <laughs> Good for you. Run, Maru. Um. So, Sarah. If it were for your sake, Sarah, um. What's this? What's talking about? Uh, nah, forget I said anything. Right. At any rate, let's get out of here. The other bridge just started back up. What? Right. We need to get there before Moridori. It'll be bad news if we get blocked. Again. You're right. Let's go, Sarah, to the lower floor. Okay, guys. Let's. Yeah, let's go to the lower floor. I was gonna end it here, but it's only 22 minutes. Um, Kuramata? Kuramata, please stay behind here. What are you saying now, brat? You can't try to hide it. Those shocks put you in a bad way again. If you stay here, you can charge at any time. Fine. Okay? Don't die, Kuramata. Right. Kuramata, please hold on to one of these. Keep in contact with this. Drop us a line if anything happens. We're counting on you. <laughs> what am I, fisherman? Whatever, just get going. Stay safe, Kurumara. What in the fuck? Midori. It's gonna close! Hurry, hurry! What's off, bastard? You want us to get on with you? We have to get on with him. Let's move him together, he'll be fine. Yeah, I hate to let him walk all over me. His moving sprites are so good. Long. Going down just one floor feels unbearably long. Because next to us is the enemy we need to kill. You're too nervous, Miss Sarah. Even when he's this close, I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
Jeez. Yeah. You're so boring, you know. Maybe. Just maybe. If you didn't have Joe, I'd see a more fun side of you. Let's go. Be Midori to the punch. I'll just take my sweet time. Are all the coffins like ripped up or something? Oh no, the shutter's closed. Yeah, the shutter's closed, so we can't get in the cemetery, Wolf. Alright, oh, so close like leather. Fuck. Maple. Touch strength. We just must show a bulky, sturdy shutter. Seems a whole lot stronger than Midori. But it ain't been pierced through. Then Keiji must be safe in there. See, there's anything around here. There's this. Wonder. You open it with the ID card. You scared me. Yes! Alright! It opens, sir! Must be waiting up ahead. Oh. KG. You better be here, KG. What if Maple's waiting here or something? Like it subverts our expectations. Who's policeman? Where are you, meow? Ugh, kinda hot in here. Hey, hey you big sister Sarah. Why aren't the coffins open, meow? Maybe after she got out, so then Um, I, I wonder if maybe the coffins didn't unlock. Don't be ridiculous. Open them from the control room. I'm sure of it. Said all the coffins were open, but the hourglass is still on the coffin. That, that doesn't matter. Sorry, everyone, why something here? Just a trivial detail, right? It's just Sarah. Coffin, not expect the coffin. You hear a weird noise. It sounds just like. Please calm down. Okay. Take my time and look it over. Yes, it's burning hot. I feel like I just heard a voice from inside. Susan, why isn't Kiji here? The shutter was still close. What's happening in the coffin now? Answers I don't want to consider surface in my mind. A cremation system. Coffin crematorium. Kiji! Open up, open up, open, open up! Ugh, it's not even budging now. It's no use, it's getting hotter and hotter. The hands are hotter. But, KG, KG, he's inside, he needs our help. Get away, Sarah. No, we need help, KG. Ah! They never unlocked. Right now, right in front of us, KG is being burned alive. There's nothing I can do. KG is being engulfed in flame in there. Hey. My vision warps. Do you need aid? You need your eyes. You might still have time, you know. Uh, I'm fine either way, personally. Can you save him? He's just gonna come out of nowhere and like fucking kick his head off or something. Inside, there's no other way. <laughs> I did it! I did it! You finally signed for me, Sarah! Now hurry up and open the coffin! Casey's going to die! Ah, sorry. Seems you weren't in time. Huh? The heat's mounted the lid, fusing it to the coffin. It's physically impossible. Too bad. That can be. You lied. That it could be opened. Why I didn't tell a single lie? All I've ever said from the start was, I'll tell you a way to save them. So you're just saying you tricked her? I've been tricked. You don't 
care about them. Right in front of me. KGS. KGS. Hold up. This ain't right. Hey, was KG really in here? I mean, the coffin's closed, Mel. Even the hourglass is on top. That's what's so strange. How can a living human be so quiet while he's getting burned alive? True, he should have struggled and shouted more, I suppose. Do you not even have the strength for that? Nah, that ain't it. He escaped from out of this coffin. No shit? Then... But the shadow is closed. He must be in here. That part, I don't know about. But there's Kyutaro and Mai who could use his finger sprinkles again. I'm sure something happened, so he's just not here, that's all. You should look for him. This ain't the time to get down in the dumps, Sarah. Come on, I'll believe in KG. KG, he... He has to be somewhere. We need to meet up. Right. Can you stand, Sarah? Thank you, Ranmaru. Sheesh. Getting all excited. <laughs> Alright. That's it for this episode of Your Turn to Die. Oh my god, dude. I love watching Midori, dude. His laughs are awesome. At least that's what I think his laughs are like. Anyway. This episode was fun. But anyways, I'll see you guys again later. Bye-bye!